You love it, don't you? Say something. <laughs> yeah. It's not yawning. It's not funny. <laughs> Every time I try and film him, he says something really inappropriate on camera. <laughs> Can't. Yo, dudes. Welcome to another Monkey London car review. Very exciting day. Today we're doing uh, this beautiful JZX100 Chaser. It's running a 1JZ as always, VVTi, with a top mounted single turbo. It's about 450 brakes, so um, yeah, I'm guessing it's gonna be pretty rapid. There's the old turbo, bit of VVTi, nom nom. It's running a GTX 3076. Uh, one bar of boost, power FC, bigger injectors, um, yeah, we're gonna take it for a drive, bring you guys some orgasmic JDM goodness, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Peace. <laughs> so yeah, it sounds fucking orgasmic. Have you done many skids in it yet? No. All, leg no. all legally, of Obviously, course. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, Stu actually dailies this car. Uh, you've done quite a few miles in it. What's it on now? It's in 200 and. 260,000 kilometres. Yeah, so it's done 260,000 kilometres, which is what, about 170, 180,000 miles? Yeah. Still on the stock engines. Stock the same engine. engine. Stock box. Yeah, impressive. And it's got a R154 manual. It's a factory manual as well, which is quite nice. It hasn't been modified from an auto. It came from the factory as a manual. It's got, a Defi, uh, it's got full, full line of Defi gauge. It's a water temp, oil temp, oil pressure. Always important, so you can monitor what the fuck's going on. Uh, wheels are nice. It's got for the Volks Racing TE37s, aren't they? Yeah, TE37. What, what offsets? Uh, 18, 199, 12 around. That's it. ET12 is actually quite aggressive for a JZX. I think you said you wanted to maybe. I mean, you could have changed the wheels or just changed the fenders because you wanted to put some sort of grippier front tyres on, didn't you? I haven't decided on that one yet. So on the outside, it looks pretty sick. I actually thought it had a body kit on it, but it's not. It's like you said, it was a Series Two, a series two factory, factory Aero. Aero. Yeah, so it's actually how it came out of the factory. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely 450 horsepower, yeah. man. Jesus. <laughs> What are, the, what are the spring rates on the BCs? Uh, 14 and 12, but they're probably a bit soft. Yeah, I think the guy, a lot of the guys in Japan, they run them really soft at the back and they run sort of quite heavy spring rates on the front, which is a, sort of a bit different. Don't forget we've got a cameraman. Yeah, we, did. <laughs> we did have a cameraman, but he's fucking disappeared. It's, it's got a, a Walton fabrication manifold and downpipes. It's like a, a custom made manifold. They're actually, they're actually a pr pretty good bit of kit. Turbo Smart 46 mil pump gate on it. Okay, it's external, external wastegate. Screamer? Yeah. Yeah, it sounded a bit screamy. As a daily driver, he hasn't got any kids, but um, yeah, you, you, he says his missus does quite like the car. He, he had a 500 horsepower S15 before this, which I think you sort of in the end you stripped, didn't you? Yeah, stripped, stripped the engine. Off. Yeah. yeah. And what what sort of made you buy a Chaser? I always wanted one. Uh, I always wanted an R34 four folder actually, but yeah. uh, one of these, this one actually popped up, and I thought, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll well, give it a test. So yeah, it's been a Nissan fancy, man, yeah. and uh, yeah, I bought it and kind of fell in love with it. Yeah, they're pretty. Um, yeah, they, they're easy to fall in love with. No, it's nice having the, it's nice having because you've got a four door, you've got lots of space, you've got room for everything, and it's obviously in there. And then they're nice chassis to skid as well, which I always find. The transitions are a little bit slower than like an S15 or an S body, but they it still work. They base, well. It basically is a boat. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I'm the Titanic. I remember putting a video up of my chase, and they're like, that looks fast for a boat. <laughs> what, what, what have you got planned in the long run for it, you reckon? Uh, possibly getting a, building a 1.5 JZ for it. Nice. Um, bit of 2J bottom end. Bit of 2J bottom end. So the turbo kinemy is good for about 600 horsepower. So that should be a bit fun. Yeah. Um, gearbox probably isn't. No. What would, you, what would you think you'd go for a BMW conversion like me? Or I don't know yet. I'll see what yeah. comes up at the time. Um, um, sort of see how I get on with mine first, and then yeah, you can sort yeah, of base no, it you're, a, you're a Tuscany big. I'm watching. <laughs> <you're an avid laughs> I haven't had much luck so far. 
how are your how are your engine temps? Do you find you sort of suffer when you do some skids or a bit of hard driving? Mine doesn't really go over at 100. No, I mean my, mine seems to go quite hard. I get up to about 110 when I'm doing skids. What about oil oil temps? Do you get sort of bad oil temperatures? No, about yeah, 100, 110. Yeah. And what what oil are you, oil are you running? Fuchsia's 10 weight 50. Yeah, 10 50s. Yeah, it's a bit little bit. I think from factory they came with like a 540. But I think with the sort of horsepower running, it's better to have something which is a bit more a bit more viscosity. Really hear the turbo spool, can't you? So yeah, whew, nothing like a pretty sick spec chaser to get your blood flowing. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Give us a like, put any comments in the comment section, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. I remember